You're muttering. I don't mutter. Aye, you do. You mutter less when something's troubling you. I blame you. Stubbornness. It's entirely from your side of the family. <laughs> I take it the talk didn't go too well, then. I don't know what to do. Speak to her, dear. I do speak to her. She just doesn't listen. Come on, now. Pretend I'm Merida. Speak to me. What would you say? I can't do this. Sure you can. There, there. That's my queen. Right, here we go. I don't want to get married. I want to stay single and let my hair flow in the wind as I ride through the glen, firing arrows into the sunset. Merida, all this work, all the time spent preparing you, schooling you, giving you everything we never had. I ask you, what do you expect us to do? Call off the gathering. Would that kill them? You're the queen. You could just tell the lords the princess is not ready for this. In fact, she might not ever be ready for this. So that's that. Good day to you. We'll expect your declarations of war in the morning. I understand this must all seem unfair. Even I had reservations when I faced betrothal. Yeah. But we can't just run away from who we are. I don't want my life to be over. I want my freedom. But are you willing to pay the price your freedom will cost? I'm not doing any of this to hurt you. If you could just try to see what I do, I do out of love. But it's my life. It's... I'm just not ready. I think you'd see. If you could just... I think I could make you understand if you would just... Listen. Listen. <laughs> I swear, Angus, this isn't going to happen. Not if I have any say in it. 